Hi, this is just a walkthrough of our new Thermoactive V8 software suite for our BGA rework stations. Uh, so I'm just going to jump in straight in and run a profile. And But first, I'll just quickly talk you through some of the features on the software. So along the top here, we've basically got the command bar. So you've got run profile, pause, stop profile, vacuum, which will turn the vacuum on, align IR so we can adjust the heating area of the component, uh, PCB cooling, cool the PCB down. So these are your zones, so you can add in more preheater zones depending on how big the PCB is. This is a sys where we can basically get the vacuum and the cooling and produce reports automatically. This is settings, which I'll go through in a second. Uh, so we've got PCB LED, component LED. So this is basically for the alignment system. So the uh, we turn the PCB on, now we can see the PCB component, now we can see the component and then we would basically use the machine to uh, align up a uh, component. I'm not actually going to show you that today but we do have other videos of that in action. So you've got align camera, side view camera, open report, generate report, open profile, save profile. So the front end of the software is really straightforward. You can see you've got controls, lighting, cameras, report and profile. So we're going to go into the settings now and just show you uh, the settings tabs. So we've got five tabs along the top here. General is just basically information about the machine and you know saving the layout of the windows, etc. Profile, this is basically the heating profile that you see on the screen here. This is just the default profile. I've just added in the PCB name and the component name, which you can see pop up at the top here. So, uh, but you know, we, we say that probably 99% of uh, surface mount devices and boards can be reflowed and reworked using this profile here. So we've got PCB profile, component profile, and then some common features there. And I'll explain as the profile's going what's happening using this window. So Prism, we have the ability to change colors on the alignment system. So the default is white for the component and red for the PCB. Camera, this basically will allow us to view the IP address of the camera and um, also the frame rates. You can also have the ability to uh, rename the cameras if you want. So we just rename this side view. Click rename. This takes a few seconds. Now we click uh, go into the assist. So this is basically this button here. So you've got auto assist, reflow assist. So depending on whether we tell the machine that it's a placement or a removal, it will do these these commands here. So they will always uh, the PCB cooling will always come on on placement and a removal. Vacuum will only come on on a removal and for a uh, the report we only need the report when we've done a placement then reflow assist this is basically so we can get some audio and visual uh, alerts once the uh, machine is basically at reflow so i'm actually going to turn these off because these make noises which you don't necessarily need right now as i'm right by the machine but if we now click apply what's going to happen is when we start this profile it's going to say is it a placement or a removal so what I'm going to do is just get the side view camera. I've already set all the sensors up so that it's ready to go. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of flux. Uh, this is a component that's already uh, been soldered down. But what we'll do is just run it. I'm not actually going to remove it. Just going to reflow it. So we'll click run. And you see there, is it a placement or removal? So we'll say it's a placement. Uh, but you can see on the screen here, we've got the side view camera. So i just zoom out and show you how far we're zoomed in. That's zoomed all the way out. That's zoomed all the way in. So we have great um, camera image and zoom. And that's with the actual lens itself. If we can zoom further in with the mouse, so wherever we point the mouse, it will zoom in. So the cameras are really great and we can see really micro components. So just to talk you through what's happening right now, we're in a warm up stage. So in the profile settings here, where it says warm up, it's basically going to heat the board to 70 degrees and then it will start plotting. So you can see warm up and then along the side here we've got TC1, TC2. TC1 is uh, the red one is the component sensor and then TC2 is the PCB sensor. And you also have the ability to add in two more thermocouples uh, with three and four here. And if you plug them in they'll also plot on the, um, on the plot here.
So these are basically our heat percentages. So at the minute we're using 0.1% of the top heater and the back heater is obviously doing a lot more work. And then you've got the time and the liquidus and then a visual of the power. So during our profiles, during the initial stages, uh, right up to soak, uh, soak one, we're using 99% um, of the heat is coming from the preheater. So unlike our competitors machines, the way that we do it is we bring the board all the way up to 185 degrees before we even uh, take the component up to a, uh, the temperature that we want to reflow it at. So it's basically we think this way is a lot more gentle for the component. So we're basically heating it up and then remove uh, we, we heat the board up and then we basically bring the component up to the temperature. So what's going to happen is we're going to heat the board up to 185 degrees. Then once we hit 185 degrees, it's going to hold it there for 30 seconds. And then after 30 seconds, then the top heater is going to come on and we're going to take the top heater, uh, the component to 245 degrees for 30 seconds and then the profile will end. So we can actually change the profile on the fly here. So you see, if you watch this green line here, I press apply now, it's going to go up. So basically you can change the profile on the fly, which is great. So we're just going to watch this through now. You can see on the on the actual plot here, you've got red and the green, which is obviously these sensors here. Uh, with the mouse pointer here as well, uh, you can see the actual exact degrees and seconds. So we just let this go through now. Uh, you can see the flux is activating, which is great. Um, but yeah, this is very, very gentle, uh, gentle way of doing rework bringing the board up to the temperature we need it and then applying heat to the component. You can see the time elapsed here as well. So yeah, we're still only 0.1% of the top heater. I may have added a bit too much flux, but that's never a bad thing. Unless, of course, you're doing a placement, then it, it may bounce. But this is just a demo board, and you know, for the sake of the video, we just uh, yeah, leave it as it is. So we're almost um, coming towards the limit that we've set, which uh, for TC2 is at 185 degrees. And you'll see uh, if you look along the left here, we've got a. Uh, this is basically what stage of the profile we're at. So we're currently in the preheat stage. And in 10 degrees time, we will go into um, soak one. We're almost there. So 185. You see there we've now gone into soak one so we've got 30 seconds of um, the component at 185 degrees it may shoot over a little bit but you know it's, it's four degrees that's not an issue at all so after five seconds you watch the top heater here is going to kick in and now we're going to take it the component up to uh, 245 degrees. What we can do on the cameras as well is just take an image. We can also record a video. So if you're doing a removal, you could you could actually record the removal. You can see there we've got a nice, nice camera image there. You can see the red, the top here has come on. And if you just watch the uh, the top heat percentage here, we literally use, because we've heated the board up to 185 degrees, that means that we're able to use such little power on the top heater to achieve reflow. Now this is 20% of 150 watts, so it's so gentle for a component, and we're, we're never ever overheating anything. It's so... Um, such little power going into it purely because 
we've warmed the board up to the temperature that we need. So you can see the component will be at reflow now and we're going along the top here and we've got soak to 15 seconds to go. Now we're going to a cool stage where if you had the uh, compressed air hooked up, the um, the PCB would be cooled down with the air blade there. I don't have it hooked up right a second purely for the noise. So what I'll do is just let that cool down past that line. Obviously um, in the profile settings here, your cool down temperature, so the profile will automatically stop. Um, when TC1 hits 170, uh, but as I don't have the fan hooked up, I'm just going to stop the profile. And then what's going to happen here? The um, this is the report generator, so you can see I've entered my name there, and this basically stays on there for the profile. So this is the demo PCB. I can now add an image, so I can take an image, uh, one of the um, one of the photos we just took there, and I just press generate. Now if I go open report. Just open this up. So this was basically the plot that we just did. So you've got the plot there. These are all the parameters. You can see the reworked by, PCB name component, machine name, and all the serial numbers, etc. Uh, the date and time and the software version. Uh, this was done. And then down the bottom here, we've got images. So you can add as many images as you want into this report. Um, yeah, it's really, really great. So that's basically just a little walkthrough of our software. Um, the rework side.